Time for another interesting stone. We're going to talk about obsidian today. Alright, so for starters, when it comes to these stone videos, I dig through my books, I dig through the internet, and I find a whole bunch of information about a particular stone, and then I share it with you guys. Some of the information may be incorrect, some of it may just be conjecture or opinion or experiential, and some of it may be contradicting. But let's go on with it, because you clicked on it, so let's go. So, obsidian is actually formed as a result of the rapid cooling of lava when it comes in contact with water, and I think that is just so, so cool. And obsidian is actually really, really cool looking if you look at the thumbnail. Um, so, it was traded by the Mayans, like, way long ago, and actually used to make things like jewelry and weapons. It's found all over the world, but mainly of note, according to one website, is um, Europe, Japan, Mexico, South America, and the U.S. But you can really think about it, it would be anywhere there are volcanoes. Um, so, that's a lot of places. Yeah. Um, so, it's associated with the root chakra, given the fact that it comes from something, literally the earth spewing stuff out, then root chakra, grounding earth, get it? It's associated with Scorpio and Sagittarius. Oh, fire signs, cool. And um, associated with earth and fire, go figure. I'm certain to piece it together here. So it's protective, it relieves mental stress, it can help block psychic attack, it's good, which, same as black tourmaline. Um, it's good for purification, transformation, manifestation, good for practicality, given that it's associated with earth, Good for psychic abilities, given that it's associated with fire, although you can also loosely associate psychic abilities with air, but air, fire, mm, gets a little muddled there. It can resolve emotional blockages, help with old traumas, help fight obsessive behaviors, good for highly sensitive people. Um, it can clear confusion, understand the self within, because you, you know, you got to think allegorically with this stuff. This is res the result of lava coming out and then cooling with water. So you have water with the emotions, and you have the lava that came out, right? So understanding within, because it came from within the earth, right? you got to have an allegorical mind when you think magic and spirituality and stuff, because that's how you can start really understanding and digesting all these parallels that we see with a lot of different things. Um, help clear confusion, understand the self within. Um, helps with digestion. Once well, again, another within thing. It's good for detoxification, arthritis, and joint pain. It can reduce um, an enlarged prostate, and I hate this, but the website that I got it from literally said an enlarged prostrate, and um, does anybody know how to proofread anymore? Just asking for a friend, really. Hmm. Um, it can help against shock from injuries, so good for things like car accidents or any like sudden injuries that can be very jarring, things like that. Um, Help fix hardened veins and accelerate wound healing. Helps with cramps, so muscles, because tectonic plate movements is what kind of causes volcanoes to happen. So, you know, when those stiffened joints, let's say, move, volcano happens, obsidian is made. See, so starting to make more connections with this stuff. Um, that's what my tired, non-caffeinated brain does. Um, so it can also help with wound healing, cramps, um, warm the hands and feet, ergo lava, ergo fire, ergo warming, um, and it also comes in a bunch of different colors, black, gold, mahogany, and snowflake. Now, I did have a snowflake obsidian necklace. It was really awesome, right? It was a donut-shaped um, stone, and it was basically black with these gray striations in it. Snowflake obsidian is downright gorgeous. So, you know, go go and Google it. Take a look at it. It's amazing. I had a, like I said, I had a donut stone, and then it was wrapped with a bunch of, with like seven other crystals in the front, and um, I lost it. I don't know where it is. Might be upstairs. <laughs> I'm in rare form with my humor this morning, guys. So, last but not least, it can strengthen weak auras. So, amidst my random humor and segues. What did you guys think about this? Are there any other stones that you want me to do videos on? Give me some ideas. Any other topics you want me to do videos on? Feel free to put them down in the comments. You can email me, connect with me on Facebook through my Facebook page, my Facebook group, and um, you know, even check out my Patreon if you want to learn more in depth with me. Um, also, remember as always, I do also 
offer magic for hire. So you can inquire at priest of the necro gmail.com. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think about this. I really want to know. Good hunting. Thanks for watching my video. So if you want to check out my playlists, I have, among others, the Simon Necronomicon, the Tree of Life, General Magic, Tulpamancy, a playlist on my books, the Elements, Stones, the Theories that Govern Magic, and the Gods and Goddesses of Mesopotamia. If you want to check out my books on Amazon, I have Creating Consciousness, Magical Mechanics, Magical Theater, Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Movement, which is an update and expansion upon Handy Sigil Magic. Magical Mastery, which is a combination masterwork of Magical Theater and Magical Mechanics. And The Guide to the Spheres and Beyond. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com. And you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting.